bring in Zaha Hassan, who's a human rights lawyer and visiting fellow at the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace. She joins us now live from McLean, Virginia. Zaha, thanks for being with us. So the U.N. says this is against international law, but other than the usual condemnation, I mean, you look at more than a thousand European signatories. Is anyone going to stop it? The only person that can stop it is Benjamin Netanyahu. And um, right now, his calculations depend mostly on domestic political, political concerns rather than uh, what folks are telling him, both inside of Israel among the security establishment, what folks are telling him in Europe, what folks are telling him, the American Jewish community, what they're telling him, uh, all of the, uh, all of the, uh, aspects of this uh, conflict have been brought to bear now, and different constituencies, wherever they are, have been coming out very strongly against annexation. The only ones who seem in favor of it is Netanyahu's right flank, and right now he's most attuned to, to that constituency. What's the recourse for Palestinians at this point? Is there is there any? You know, this is annexation would be a game changer for Palestinians. They're, they they could not go back to business as usual. And in fact, ever since um, the coalition government was formed, and it was clear that annexation was going to be on the table, and there was going to be some kind of annexation. We don't know exactly how much or or uh, exactly when, but the Palestinians have taken various steps, including stopping security coordination, including stopping uh, the monthly um, delivery of uh, clearance revenues that Israel collects on behalf of the Palestinians, and um, including stopping uh, coordination on things like um, permits for Palestinians to go to work inside of Israel or to travel. There's a whole host of, of uh, areas in which Palestinians and Israelis have been engaged in coordination since Oslo, and, and those things have all stopped since. Things as, as important as um, coordinating hospital transfer cases. So now Palestinians are left without uh, support in trying to get you know, seen in, in hospitals in the West Bank if they're in Gaza or um, abroad if they're in the West Bank. So. So, you know, this is no, this is no um, theoretical issue, the idea of annexation. Yes, de facto annexation has been going on for decades now. De jure annexation won't, is not, a, a, you know, is not something that you can see or touch immediately, but it, it makes a huge difference in terms of the ability of Palestinians uh, to relate to Israeli county, counterparts. And it's going to change the nature of the relationship as well between Europeans and um, uh, Israelis. You can't go back to the two-state mantra and uh, the idea of bilateral negotiations once Israel takes that step to annex uh, parts of the West Bank. Well, Zaha Hassan, we appreciate you coming on to provide your analysis. Thanks for being with us.